We are in Cape Town. We're supposed to be leaving on Sunday, which is, it's Monday today, so we are on a tight time schedule now. We've started our interviews, which was really, really amazing and quite powerful. Yesterday, we interviewed my Auntie Sarita, whose son, uh, Olwen, was killed at 21. He was murdered. So we had an in-depth discussion with her, probably for about an hour and a half. And that was pretty intense, obviously. And a lot more emotionally charged than I thought it would be, which doesn't really make sense. I know me saying that, but it's because she's a very, very strong person. So I wasn't sure if she would really open up and, and really let us in, but she did. So there are a lot of tears and it's uh, quite moving and very insightful for a lot of people, especially those who have lost a child. So and afterwards we went to go see the cross where uh, Owen's body was dumped. It's dumped in an area on the border of a place called Kailicha. So we all got into the truck and we wanted to see what happened to the site because the day before the sentencing we found out that the area right by the cross had completely destroyed it in a brush fire. So after the interview we went to check out the site and it was quite amazing because it was literally only a few meters on either side of the cross that had been destroyed. So we'll be starting in Cape Agulhas, which is the southernmost tip of Africa, and we'll be working our way east. We're going to be going to Swellendam first, and then heading to George, to Otsuer, where the ostriches are, through Beaufort West, and then to our family farm, which is in the Britstown area, up through Uppington, and then we'll be hitting up Namibia. We're going to be sticking with a lot of main routes, but we will be doing a lot of day tours and side trips as well. Then we're going to Vintook, we're gonna go up head through the north of Namibia and then go all the way through Botswana towards the north so that we can skip this whole area of Zimbabwe just to be a little bit extra careful. And then we're going to hit up Zambia and of course right here we have Victoria Falls which is going to be an epic experience, that's for sure. Then from Zambia we're going to make our way into Malawi. Now Malawi is having a lot of issues with flooding right now. There's over 200,000 people displaced, a lot of people have died so we're going to have to make a call about this area when we get there. If we need to, we're gonna work around it, but hopefully we can go to Malawi because the people there are awesome. And then we're gonna make our way up to Tanzania, and that's where we're going to be climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. There's a lot of issues that need to be brought to light in Tanzania, some epic interviews happening there. Then of course, we're gonna be making our way up through Kenya. One of the group's best friends, Laura Barkis, will be meeting us there. Her family is from Kenya, and they'll be showing us an amazing time. My dad, Dr. Andres Both, is also going to be climbing Mount Kenya for the second time which is the second highest mountain in Africa. Now, Kenya is also where we're going to be getting our visas for Sudan. Now this is proving to be quite difficult. Sudan is notoriously hard when it comes to visas, so we'll have to see how that goes. From Kenya, we'll be moving into Ethiopia. Ethiopia is going to be a real treasure. There are a lot of tribes there that we're looking forward to meeting. And then of course, we're going to be going into Sudan. Of course, we're going to hit up the capital in Khartoum, and then we're going to start going north. When we get to this border crossing here between Sudan and Egypt, that's going to be a very interesting one. They've had notoriously difficult border crossings here in the past. Of course, they used to do the ferry border crossing, but a brand new land border crossing opened up in October. So we're going to be trying to use that one instead. And then we're going to be making our way up all the way to Cairo. So we also finally have our expedition vehicle, which was crazy. We've literally been driving five different vehicles over the last month trying to finagle something that works for us and Jeff's done a really great job of finding the truck and now he's doing all of the modifications. Um, he's put in a lot of work into that so he's out there right now, I don't even know doing what, putting in inverters and like screw driving things. I don't know, that's not my job. Um, but anyway, he's done a great job and we have a name for our vehicle. Paul Diamond uh, so generously donated $500 to be able to name the vehicle and he has named her Jambo Jambo, which means hello, hello in Swahili. So a big thank you to Paul. Really appreciate that. He knows Jeff from before they climbed Kilimanjaro together. And a huge thank you to everybody who supported our Indiegogo campaign. We really, really appreciate it. We had some people that donated um, a fair bit of money, which was much appreciated. And every little bit helped from $5 to one donation of $1,200. So 
Thank you so much. We will still be selling pre-sales of the DVD as we go along. We're figuring that out as we go. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you if you shared the campaign, if you mentioned it, if you commented on it. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate you following along on our blog on inspiredrisk.com and under Inspired Risk on Facebook as well.